with a number line. Label my endpoint 0 and 1. I'm multiplying two proper fractions, so I know my product is going to fall between 0 and 1. Okay, I'm looking for 2 fifths of 5 ninths, so I'll start by segmenting this number line in 2 ninths. I'll do that by making thirds and splitting each third in 2 thirds. Got ninths, and I'm going to mark off five ninths, one ninth, two ninths, three ninths, four ninths, five ninths. I will highlight that length of five ninths. Next, I'm looking for two fifths of five ninths, so I need to segment that length of five ninths into fifths. Con conveniently, this is done already. There's one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. And I'm looking for two fifths of five ninths. I will highlight that two fifths of five ninths to make it clear. And to name that point on the number line, I have to think about how many segments are in my unit from 0 to 1? That's still 9. And how many have I counted here? And it's 2. So 2 ninths. Let me do my computation here. <clears throat> 2 times 5 is 10. 5 times 9 is 45. And I can simplify by dividing by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 45 divided by 5 is 9. 2 ninths, 2 ninths. I can also model this problem using an area model representation. Let's start with a rectangle. And I'm going to start by making 5 ninths. So I've got to divide my rectangle into ninths. Again, I'll start by making thirds and then segment each third into thirds. ninths, and I'll highlight five ninths. So here's one, two, three, four, and five ninths. Now I want to find two fifths of five ninths, so I've got to segment um, this rectangle now into fifths. So here we go. Fifths. And I'm going to highlight two fifths. There's one and two fifths. And my product is this overlapping area, is represented by the overlapping area here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Out of a total of 45 cells. Remember, I made ninths, then fifths. Nine times five is 45. So 10 45ths is my fractional answer, and I can simplify that to, again, 2 ninths.